ago as I was spending my time trying to figure out how to do the really cool stuff. And, and granted, there's a learning curve to just building a pool if you've never seen one. I, I can remember distinctly my first day on the job. I had been hired on to do pool openings and then some service and then construction. And I remember my very first day in construction. I had no idea what and how a pool was built. And we got there and looking through it and trying to figure that out. And I remember that day so distinctly because it was the learning curve. It was the process of understanding. I was really young, but understanding how it goes together because I love the how-to. I love how things are built. And I think from day one, I was always wanting to learn more and wanting to try more. And that's why as soon as I got acquainted with the company and, and, and was in with the company, I started reading the magazines and all the trade publications about all of this really cool stuff in the industry because I knew nothing about it. And that led to that discovery for me of trying new things. And all new things have a learning curve. We never know what that looks like and what it's going to take. Now experience would say, well, once you've done one thing, it's a little easier to do something else, which is true. However, when you're faced with doing that new thing, there's always something that you don't understand about it. So, for example, the first time I built a waterfall, I really didn't fully understand water containment, and I had to think through that. Or the first time I used automation, or for most of us, the first time we used an electronic ignition heater and had to figure that thing, or more importantly, troubleshoot it for the first time. Because I would bet most of us have installed one and then had to fix it before we got any formal training. I certainly know that's ever happened to me is someone requested one, didn't know anything about them, installed it, had to figure it out. So when, when you get to that point, I mean, those are the real basic things, but then when you get in, into the more advanced things, the principle is the same. Uh, so fire bowls, a good example is, is the first time you install a fire water bowl. For me, I have to see it. If I can touch it and feel it and put it together, then I can understand it. If it's just this thing that's out there that works and I got to figure it out, I have no idea what I'm doing. So what I've found is I'll often sell something that I've never done before and use it as a learning experience. Now, a lot of guys in the industry would say, well, that's when you give some stuff away, maybe break even to learn it. I'm a real believer in knowing that I'm good enough to figure stuff out that I darn well should make money at it and I shouldn't have to give it away to learn. Maybe I don't make as much money because it takes longer, because I have to buy more materials, but I always make sure that we're going to make money on that process. Because what happens, at least for me, it's always happened this way. If I sell one of them, I sell ten of them. And I might have ten sold of that thing before I try the first one. So a good example was uh, automatic covers. First time I did an automatic cover was many, many years ago. And I sold it, and before I installed it, I sold three more. So I had four of them to figure out. Now, that just worked for me because it was something, hey, I could sell this, I can make money at it. And so I learned on the first one and made money on it. And therefore, number two, number three, and number four, I was able to make money on it. So that process, you have to go through. We can't just learn in a manual in a book how to do something. You got to tear it apart and put it back together to really understand. And that's something that's allowed us to stay progressive because we're willing to tear it apart put it back together, try something brand new, and make sure that we understand it. And that's that's one thing for me, is once I've seen it once, I can duplicate that, or I can then modify and change it. But if I haven't seen it at all, I really have no idea what I'm getting into. So I would encourage people to try those new things, but you got to be willing to immerse yourself in it and learn it. And then, once, once you've done it, then it makes total sense and it's easy, and that's when you can sell it and make great amounts of money at it.